and let me welcome you after a long time as per the request of one of my regular viewers today i have brought the 23rd video of trigonometry i hope you will like it and share with your friends our today's question is if a b and c are the angles of a triangle that is if their sum is 180 degree we are expected to prove sine square a minus sine square b plus sine square c is equals to 2 sine a into cos b into sine c for your kind information this question is slightly different than the question in trigonometry part 11 of this channel okay here we go i'll start from left hand side we have it as sine square a minus sine square b plus sine square c now recalling the formula of cos 2a having sin a in it we get this one exchanging the places of 2 sin square a and cos 2a we see 2 sin square a is equals to 1 minus cos 2a and finally taking 2 on the right side we can write sin square a as 1 minus cos 2a by 2 let's do the same for the first two functions in our next step here we go and we will keep sin square c same as u c in the above step moving to the next step 2 is taken as lcm and minus 1 plus cos b this one is written after simplifying with negative sign here we can cancel minus 1 and plus 1 now 1 by 2 is taken as common and it remains cos 2b minus cos 2a inside the bracket sin square c is written the same as above after this cos 2b minus cos 2a can be compared with the formula cos c minus cos d which is equals to 2 sin c plus d by 2 into sin d minus c by 2 where if we compare with the given step we will use 2b in place of c and 2a in place of d and this can be written as 1 by 2 into 2 sine 2b plus 2a whole divided by 2 into sine 2a minus 2b whole divided by 2 this 2b plus 2a by 2 is same as c plus d by 2 and 2a minus 2b by 2 is same as d minus c by 2 in this step you can even cancel this 2 and this 2 and this is done since there is multiplication in between them moving to the next step 2 is common on angle parts so we take 2 outside the bracket as common and then we can cancel it with a denominator from both the parts doing so it will be like sin a plus b in bracket into sin a minus b in bracket plus sin square a now at this point we will use the given angular information as given a plus b plus c is equals to pi radian taking c on the right part it is a plus b is equals to pi radian minus c and keeping sine on both sides we get sine a plus b is equals to sine pi radian minus c which can be written as sine c following the cast rule of trigonometry it means we will replace sine a plus b by sine c in the next step 
and then we'll take sin c common from both of these parts doing this bracket will have sin a minus b plus sin c and this sin c is common that we have taken again reversing the process from this line above uh, sin c can be written as sin a plus b so that's what we will do here we'll write sin a plus b in place of sin c following the cast rule now let's recall the last formula for this question as we have sin a plus b is uh, plus sin a minus b is equals to 2 sin a into cos b uh, it would be b here we will write the same and our efforts bring results here hence 2 sin a into cos b into sin c that we will get on the right side hence lhs is equals to rhs proved thank you for watching